We read in 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 these words, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Over the next few weeks, we're going to all make decisions about how we're going to live our lives. The stay alert message in many ways means that each of us must make wise choices in a whole variety of ways. For example, when the schools open, if I have children, is it going to be safe for me to send them? Is it safe to go back to work? And will my work allow me to socially distance safely? Am I right to meet up in the open air? with this person, is that allowed? And how do the rules apply in this situation? And when is it okay to do that? We will all have to make decisions based on the advice from the government, safe practice, wisdom, and good old common sense. But as the passage today reminds us, we shouldn't make it based on fear. Now, please don't hear what I'm not saying. I'm not saying, as some have, that Christians will be protected from the COVID-19 virus and therefore we don't need to fear because of that. Well, I'm not saying that, I do believe that in this scripture it is saying that God will give each one of us a spirit of power and love and sound mind. We have all we need to be able to listen to God read the advice given and make wise decisions. Decisions that express our desire to come under the authority of our government, see Romans 13, 1, while recognising that he that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. See, wisdom helps us know what to do, when to do it and how to go about it. And we all need wisdom from the Lord. We need wisdom as we lead our homes, deal with our co-workers, care for our family and friends and move forward while staying alert. If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. We read in James chapter 1 verse 5, let us all ask God for this wisdom and he will give it generously to us. And let me remind you also that God is still on his throne. He's still in control. But the enemy wants us to be driven by fear. But God wants us to be driven by faith. This is a time to be believing God is greater than any virus. So let us respond with faith. So do not fear. It's not a free pass to do stupid, unlawful stuff. It is a reminder that we have the spirit of power, love and sound mind. Therefore, we need not fear. We make godly choices each day through him who gives us strength. And so let us pray. Lord, we need your help. We do, know, we do not want to be afraid or doubt. We want to trust you. We want to be a people marked by faith in you, even when we cannot necessarily see the path ahead. Lord Jesus, hear our prayers. Lord, we cry out to you now.